I want to introduce you to one of our more common vine species in the coastal plain. This is Muscadinia rotundifolia. That's a fairly recent change in taxonomic status. Most guides will still refer to it as Vitus rotundifolia, but that's going to be the same thing regardless of what we call it. And I want to just kind of show you to you in this particular habitat because this is an area uh, of longleaf pine forest that probably needs to be thin, certainly needs to be burned. And you'll look, you see all this green down on the understory forest floor, and almost all of that is Muscadinia. Muscadinia is, of course, the plant that provides muscadines. In the southeast, muscadines uh, are often polarizing. You either hate or you love fresh muscadines or muscadine wine that can be made from the fruits. But these fruits will be present in the fall. An interesting note, the pollen of Vitus is very distinctive and widespread. And often when we look at paleontological cores and look at pollen from thousands of years ago, it's Vitus or Muscadinia pollen that tends to be the most common pollen found. Typically, Muscadinia has a rounded leaf shape fairly distinctive leaf shape. I'll pluck a couple of leaves here just to kind of look at some of the variety. So you'll see in general there's a pretty consistent toothiness all around uh, the margin of the leaf. Occasionally you'll have a few uh, almost lobe-like protrusions. Here this one uh, has three semi-lobes, uh, usually a, a chordate or, or semi-chordate base. Uh, occasionally you'll have some that are just completely almost rounded uh, without any lobing at all and just just the just the teeth the dentations on the side that's very uh consistent as you can see this extensive patch of vitus extends all around and when it finds a suitable host to climb it'll shoot up to the top of the tree like here you can see it climbing this pine tree right here so it's actually often found in an arboreal habitat as well in addition to just growing around on understory plants. The vines themselves are, are fairly plain there's not a lot about this vine uh, sometimes I guess it was its lack of features it makes it distinctive um, it uh, it can become quite thick this is a sort of a medium thickness vine but these can get a couple of inches in diameter in some older larger specimens of Muscadinia.